Hey everyone, Viking back. Um, so I found in the new update for season three, update 1.09, they added the tag team championship belts. So I'm going to assign them and uh, simulate an AI versus AI match to see if the if they fix the AI at all. So this is cool. So we got tag team belts now. So that's a new thing I didn't really notice when I first played this out. Introducing so we're going to go against the Young Bucks versus FTR's the champions and we'll see how the AI versus AI simulation for tag team matches is. Hopefully it's better than uh, the last time I tested it. So we got the belts, short entrance, alright. Let's see how this plays out. I haven't really found anything else uh, besides the community wrestlers and the belts, the new tag belts, in uh, in my time playing. Um, the gameplay seems a little tighter when you are playing, uh, so that's good. We got a tag team move right off the bat, that's nice. And it looks like they actually pay attention to the legal man and not just a big free-for-all so the legal men go after each other which makes sense it didn't do that in 1.07 or whatever the last update was double team action so that's cool so we got the legal man chasing the other legal man and Pretty aggressive, fighting them off. It's pretty good. Those two are going at it. Yeah, it seems all right. What the hell is that? What kind of a finish is that? That was like a one minute match. The winners of this match well, squash match, I'd say. Well, that's not promising for the AI versus AI in the tag mode. That's kind of whack, but here I'm gonna I'm gonna play as Kid Dreamer and kind of test him out, see how he is. Jabroni test. So I did find out that these jabronis are official AEW uh, wrestlers jabronis. So this is Adam Cole's custom wrestler that he designed, Kid Dreamer. Let's see how he plays. I do like the fact that you know they're adding more like you know fictional characters. I, I kind of like that in the old wrestling games when there was fake federations, you know, and fake wrestlers. It's kind of a cool thing. The Aki games did that a lot to kind of pad the roster out. And if they keep doing that, I mean, if, if every wrestler in the game gets a fictional re wrestler to design, that will be pretty cool because, you know, it'll pad the roster out. You can have... If they ever add, like, a create a pay-per-view, you could have, you know, jobber, um, you know, openers and stuff on your pay-per-views, then build up to the main event, which is a, a cool thing. I like that, but we'll see if they implement it. I did check out the content that's supposed to be dropping for Season 3. I'm hoping it drops today, but... Uh, with the Swerve Strickland and that beach map. The beach map looks really good. That that arena looks really cool. So that I'm looking forward to. If they keep doing creative um, wrestling arenas and wrestling rings, that's going to be pretty huge. I still wish they'd update the store so I could spend my damn currency. But we'll see.
Yeah, the gameplay is, you know, like I said, I did have fun playing these matches over the past day, you know, since this new update's come out. And it does seem like the gameplay is a little smoother and that the um, spirit meter fills up a little better as far as, you know, it's not too OP, I don't think. You know, it seems more balanced. So the matches do seem like they last a little longer, at least in the one-on-one. -on -one fighting Ooh, see what his signatures are we got like a is that impaler D, even flow DDT or impaler DDT it's not bad his finisher throw him to the corner what is it a superplex some kind of top rope move. oh there we go well, that's Kid Dreamer for you. Thanks for watching the vid. I'll be back with more later. Uh, if you like this, you know, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check in next video. Viking out of here. Bye. The winner of this match, Kid Dreamer. What an amazing match we had tonight.